Hey everyone, Paul Ryan here. My buddy Bob Woodson and John Ponder told me about your summit. I'm sorry I can't be with you, but let me tell you, I am so grateful for the work that you are doing to make our community safer and stronger. The work that you're undertaking and the partnerships that you are forming are so, so important. And I can't think of a more fitting time for this summit to take place. With so much division in this country, more than ever before, we need to come together and work to solve our community common problems. I want to say a few words about one program in particular, and that's Hope for Prisoners in Las Vegas. And wow, I gotta say, what a success story. Under the leadership of John Ponder, it is just incredible what this program has accomplished. It is literally life-changing and probably saving lives. Hope for Prisoners has the support of churches, of business leaders, and of law enforcement. Some 40 law enforcement officers are acting as mentors for ex-offenders. You all know this because you are in it. But this is a program that isn't a handout, not in any sense of the word. This is a program that produces and provides a hand up. The Hope for Prisoners participants first take responsibility for the actions that resulted in their incarceration, and they build from there. I strongly believe that local, state, and federal entities can and need to work cooperatively. I'm also confident that the public and the private sectors need to work together to offer this more personalized form of aid. One that recognizes both a person's needs and a person's strengths. Hope for Prisoners does precisely that. It is proving what redemption really looks like, that we can have redemption in our communities. It is giving people their livelihoods back and restoring their dignity. And that work is just so important. So I wanna say, thank you for letting me play a small part in this summit. Thank you for all the partnerships that you are building and most of all, congratulations on the graduates today. Please keep up the fight because our communities need you. Thanks again.